Good evening everyone, this is Duran over at Alpha 7 Trading Academy. Today I just wanted to go over quickly uh, some SEC filings and how to be able to understand, dissect them, and know which ones provide what type of information and how uh, you could benefit from them. So when you go to Yahoo or Google, you could usually find the finance.yahoo.com and then on the side you could go to SEC filings and you could see here that they have the form 8K, 10Q, 10K, um, and there's a couple others as well. So I thought we should go over the 10Q. So let's say we uh, we click the 10Q April 28th. Now, what's going to be included here is basically uh, when companies release their earning reports, they release it four times a year after the end of each quarter. Uh, via mandated 10Q filing with the SEC, which includes financials. The fourth quarter earnings are often released with the annual report, which filed as 10K report, which is a fully comprehensive report that is much more in-depth than the 10Q. So basically, the difference from the 10Q and the 10K is that the 10K provides uh, the end, the fourth quarter annual report, okay, which is a lot more comprehensive and a lot more in depth than the quarterly 10Q, which is the quarterly report. Okay, so 10Q includes unaudited financial statements and provides a continuing view of the company's financial position during the year. Uh, however, the 10K, which I saw just recently. And actually, I don't see it here. So there it is. The 10K provides a comprehensive overview of the business and financial condition and includes audited financial statements. Although the 10K is an annual report, this is technically a filing with the SEC due within 90 days after the end of the company's fiscal quarter. Companies also release an annual report to shareholders, which it must send to shareholders when it holds the annual meeting. And that's about it for the 10 to 10K filings, okay? So you should be able to receive uh, the quarterly financials and then you'll know that when they call out the 10K, then that'll be the annual uh, report, okay? That's a lot more comprehensive. Um, and then we could see here, we have another one, which is called the 8K. The 8K filing is a current report that companies must file with the SEC any time throughout the year to announce a major or material event that shareholders should know about. Um, some would be such as entries into material agreements, bankruptcy, acquisitions, results of operations, material impairments, unregistered sales of equities, modifications to rights of shareholders, changes with certifying accountants, and a couple more. Um, so in the example of, let's say, ABC Corp hiring a new CFO from their top rival, they would issue an AK filing under corporate governance and management documenting the appointment of a new CFO and details. All right. Um, and there is another one which is called the 13D. Now, obviously, for uh, and this one we don't see it. So let's see if we could go to fuel findings, we could find a 13D. And here we don't see a 13D, so maybe we could uh, check to see another stock. Okay. So let's try. You know who I think uh, uh, you may have that. Let me try one more stock and we'll see. I think it's this one here. I think this may have one. Okay, no. So anyways, I'll move forward. So a 13D filing is 
when you're required to file and to be submitted to the SEC by anyone who requires beneficial ownership of more than 5% of any class of publicly traded securities in a public company. Uh, they must be submitted within 10 days. Uh, they notify the public when a large shareholder is acquiring material stakes that may be a precursor to impending events. Uh, trades constantly check the 13D filings for well-known hedge fund managers, activists, and mutual uh, funds to see where the big money is flowing. Um, and then there's another one that I'll talk about briefly, which is a Form 4 filing. And this is basically the statement of changes in beneficial ownership. I won't go much over this. Uh, so when a company's insiders, officers, directors, or beneficial owners want to buy, transfer, or sell shares, they must file a Form 4 with the SEC disclosing the amount of shares, price, position within two days. Now, with that filing and with uh, the 13D, these could definitely be used as catalysts uh, to find a stock that may be moving uh, with much more volatility and follow through than the overall market. So it's very good to be able to check on, on those, the Form 4, the 13D, and maybe even the AK as well, all right? So major and material events will definitely be catalysts. So AKs will definitely fit into that. And that is about it uh, in terms of the SEC filings. I thought we should go over that. Some uh, fundamental uh, basis that we go over um, compared to our uh, technical side. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot me a comment, email me, support at alpha7trading.com. And uh, enjoy. Have a great day, guys. Ladies, take care. Bye.